more on Angular 7, Section 3. In this section, we'll be adding some really cool features from the Angular 7 Materials Design CDK to our example application. We'll explore the drag and drop and virtual scrolling and see how both of these features can give you application in awesome presentation and functionality. The cool thing is that there's no external libraries required. The Angular team now provides this as a tool to help you easily achieve this very easily and very quickly. And uh, finally, we'll wrap up the course with another look at some other important features of Angular 7 that we did not cover in the course and also tell you what to expect next and maybe what to look for in more information to help you stay updated. The Angular drag and drop is one of the latest feature in the Angular 7 version. So if you had implemented drag and drop features with JavaScript before, you know how tedious, how strenuous this is to make it work like this. With this new Angular drag and drop module, you can now easily build something like this, you know, very easy with just a few lines of code. And so it's very easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that very quickly. We can build something really powerful in just a matter of minutes. And so let's just go and take a look and see this in action. We go and do the example. I'm going to show you this site here. This is Trello. If you are familiar with Trello, it is a application to help you do some like agile work. So here I'm going to show you is have three lists here. Okay, the drag and drop feature is you can drag from this list to any of this list. You can drop in here and move it back and forth. I mean, don't you wish you can build something like this really quickly? Okay, with Angular 7, you can do this very quickly, and I'll show you to do that right now. So let's go to the code. In here, I'm using Angular 6, the version 6 that was upgraded. I went ahead and created a new component called drag drop, as you can see here. Okay, so inside the folder here, I added the new component. Here's the drag and drop with the, just three files. And also, you want to go into the app modules, okay, and import this drag drop module from the CDK drag drop folder module. If you don't have that install, you want to install the material CDK first, but usually with Angular 7, it came by default. So if you are doing an upgrade or something, if you don't have it, just make sure you install that. So add that there to the import and then add it to the import uh, parameter here. And now that should be good to go. And I'll show you really quick inside this app component here. And let me go back to the browser. So let's go here. This is the main page. I mean, look at this message here. Welcome to Angular 6, whatever. I can drag it. I mean, if I highlight it, it can move it. It's like I'm just mimicking that dragging, right? And you cannot drag that. I'll show you how easy this is can be done. So here in the code, inside the add component, here's the message here. All I have to do is basically in the H1 tag here, I'm just going to add this directive called CDK drag. And that's all it takes. You save that back to the browser. It's loading, and now watch this. You can drag and move this around very easily like that, okay? I mean, imagine you can do it with JavaScript. You have to find the drop zone, where do you drop it, things like that. So this is very powerful. Same thing with this list here. As you can see, it's all list, employees list. You can do this very easily. So let's go and do that really quick. So I, again, I'm gonna make sure I add that component first. I'm gonna just copy and paste this line here, okay? Copy that. Go into the employees list, the module, add that to the module, and add that drop module to the imports here so it's active. Now I can go to the employees template, and this row here, each row represents one of the records. So I just again apply the CDK drag. Okay, save that back to the browser. It reloads, and now I can drag and move these around very easily like that. I mean, it takes you maybe like quite a while to do this with JavaScript, but now you can see that how easy this can be done. Okay, so now let's do something a little bit more practical. I'm going to go into the drag and drop. I added a new drop, drag drop uh, button here. That's going to show a new component here. We're going to go and create a three list just like we saw here on the Trello site, right? So I'm going to do a to-do list, doing, and then the done, and you can drag and drop this around. Okay, so back in the code, I'm going to close this and go into the drag and drop. This is the comp component here. The CSS is provided, make some mods here. I got the CSS from the Angular site, so you can 
go ahead and make it some tweaking if you need to. But the component here, and I'm going to close this on the rest so I can have more room. Okay, so again, you just input the CDK drag drop, the move item into an array, and then the transfer array. This is if you're moving within the same array or same list. This is if you transfer across multiple lists. So we're going to have three lists. That's what we need that there. And inside the class, I'm adding three lists here. One is a to-do. It's an array of, of items. The active list, currently walking the dog. And then the done list, I'm done already, right? And then we have a function called drop. This is just a function. You can call it whatever you want. And then it takes one event. This is the event that's coming from that drop list, which is the template we're going to build in a minute. Inside here, you have an if block, meaning if you're dropping, this one says if you are checking the container with the previous container, the current container with the previous container, if they are the same, then you are dropping the same list. Otherwise, you're dropping across a different list. So you have a different function called transfer array item. These are part of the CDK drop feature here. So basically, that's all you need. And so I'm going to go into the template now and design that really quick. So here I'm going to have a, a div class. This is the outer, this is for the, the top list, the to-do list. And then inside the to-do list, I have the actual list of items. Okay, so it's going to be wrapped like that. And the first one is basically, I'm going to have a class to drag to a list, a drag drop container. Again, that's from the CSS. So I'm going to put that there. And basically, that's all I need for this one here. So I also put an H3 just to say this is the to-do list, right? To-do list. So we see that there. And then down here. So basically, I'm going to just copy this for now. And paste that down here three times. And right-click and reformat this. So this is the to-do list. This is the doing list, right? I'm doing it. And this is the done list. So let's save that. and. Let's load on the browser. And when I go to the drag and drop, so I have those three lists. So I'm going to drag this to that and so forth. All right. Okay. So back in the code. All right. So this part here, I'm going to do this first. I'm just copying and paste basically because the code is very, very similar. So I need to also include the class. I just make it nice, right? This is the drag drop, not container, but the drag drop. I think I used the drag drop list. Okay. And then inside here, I have a couple of parameters I want to add. The first one is the CDK drop. Okay, CDK, I mean drop list. You want to say this is a drop list. And then you also want to give each drop list an ID. So this is the to do list ID. And that it's going to be equal to the CDK drop list. Okay. So you need that. And then the next two parameters are you wrap inside the brackets here, it's directive. What is this list coming from, right? So it manages and watches that list for you. So I need to get the CDK drop list data. Okay, what is this coming from? Well, it's going to come from your class, which is the to do list, right? That to do list is it's going to track this to do list here. This, and I need to track the active list and the done list for each of those areas. Okay, so we're going to track that to do list. And then I have another directive here to where do I move it to? Okay, so the here will be drop list is going to be connected to, and this is going to be equal to an array of lists. Okay, so I'm going to move this to the done doing or maybe to the done list. So I will create a list, and again, I'll map the ID here, whatever ID I use here, and down here, I will be placed in here. So I'm going to say, like, maybe the doing list, and also you can also drag it to the done list. Okay, so those two. Whatever you put here are, is the restriction. And then finally here is the action, right? You're going to bind this to a CDK drop list drop. When I drop it, what is it going to do? So I'm going to call a function, the function we created called drop, and I'm just going to pass the event to it. Okay, so that is that part. And this will be identical to the, the rest of the bottom down here. I'm going to copy later, but for now. So that is that. And then I need to create another div for the actual elements itself. Okay. This is the actual element. So this will be the ng4, right? So the ng, ng4, I'm going to pass in the item 
of the to-do list. Okay, I also want to get an array index. So let's just say that index has i. And this is where you put the, the draggable, cdk drag. And then finally here, I'm just going to put the i plus 1. You track each of those numbers. You can list in order. And then the item. Okay, so I think that's it for this one here. And just to make sure it is correctly, I'm going to save this, go to the browser, and see if that is showing. Okay, so it's showing correctly. I just probably didn't put the thing. As you can see, I can, I can drop this around already. Okay, I can move things around already, right? It's movable. Okay, so I'm going to put over here and change the style a little bit. Let's go back to the code. Okay, I must have missed something here. So the drag here, let's make this the class of the drag box. So drag drop box. And I think that should make that look nice. Okay, so now all I have to do is basically copy this div to that div and paste it here. For this, I'm going to copy and paste it here as well. And all I have to do is just basically change this done to done. And then here would be done. This is the done list. So change that to the done list. I can move back to the doing list or the to do list, right? I can move both that back and forth. And then the same thing up here. This is the doing list. So I'm going to say a doing list. And this is from the active list. I think we call it active list, right? Yeah, active list. And then this is again the active list. And I can move this back to the done list or to the to do list. The destinations basically. Okay, I think that is pretty much it. Well, let's just save this and let's see what it looks like in the browser. Okay, so here we go. All right, it's formatted. Here I go. I'm going to go and walk the dog. So I'm done with walking the dog and then I can drop it here. Okay, you can see that it's nicely. A if you change your mind, you can just drag it back and so on. Okay, it's and now I'm gonna go to work. Okay, I can pick up groceries and buy flowers for the wife, and I'm done. So pull those back in here and then and so on. So there we go. It looks exactly like we just did earlier. Okay, so notice I can move to any list I want. You can restrict that if you want to. So let's just say that when you're going from the to-do list to the doing list, you cannot go back, right? So that means I can restrict this. Maybe the to-do can only go to the doing list and it cannot go to the done list, right? Or maybe from here, I cannot go back to the to-do list. It's only one direction, one flow. And then from here, I can go back and forth, right? So if I save this, back to the browser. Okay, so I cannot go back. As you can see, it's locked. I can go over here and I can reset the dock to the beginning and do it again. But once I put it into the drag and drop the doing list, I cannot move it back, even though I get it from the original list here. So it's locked in. So this is very, very nice, very powerful, and actually it's quite fun. Okay, so that is the drag and drop feature in Angular 7.